Okay, uh, we can just blur out this mess. All right, welcome back. As promised, we're gonna do a walk around of the CNC enclosure. If you are not familiar with this, there's three parts of this video you can go check out. The building of the cabinets, the drawers, and this top section right here. So I think the easiest thing to do, I think is just gonna be to like start on this side and work our way around. So over here we've got our, I've got a little shelf I built for the computer section of the CNC machine. I was going to put that originally down underneath, but it just, I think it works better right here. And I've got my big red button. So if things go south, I can hit that. This right here is just a router controller and that was just a convenient spot for it. So kind of disregard that, no biggie. I guess we can start down here. We've got a bunch of drawers. There's some shallow drawers. There's some deeper drawers. If you've watched the previous parts, you've seen all those. I've got some, you know, there's a whole, just a pile of drawers. This right here is something that I tried to incorporate into this build instead of having an external air filter. So this is just a furnace fan. I'm sure you've seen a lot of these. Usually they're sitting on the ground somewhere else, but I was like, if I've got the room, I'll just chuck it in there. So we got our furnace fan and a removable filter. So when the filter gets dirty, we can pop that out of there. As you can see, everything is trimmed in mahogany because I don't know, I felt like uh, making it pretty, I guess. Over here we got lights for inside. And in last week's video when I showed you how I created this top section. One change I made to the face was to add another piano hinge so it breaks in half. Mostly because without that, I was hitting the ceiling. So this pops open, CNC machine lives in here. I've got lights. I ended up getting 12 volt lights for, or 12 volt accessories for all this. If you try to look for lights, cool looking buttons like this, switches for 120 AC. It's hard to find anything, it's always really expensive, but if you just get a 12 volt inverter, which I'll show you around the other side, then you can just order any accessory that's made for a camper. That makes life way easier. So CNC machine lives in there. I've yet to put any padding or noise dampening stuff in here. There's a couple holes. Um, we got our dust collection coming in over here. And then this whole top lifts up. And so I've got one, two, three piano hinges in total. But the purpose of that is if you look back there, you see that? So this guy, I've got another switch that runs this little crane mechanism I've created. It's not done. <laughs> but when it is done, it'll attach to this. And then when you flip up that top section, you'll hit your switch over here it'll raise the whole thing up and that, that's up out of the way. This guy, this I never made a video on, but this is just a laptop holder. So, you know, you need a laptop or a computer for your CNC machine. So I just chose to make a little holder for mine and he sits on there, that plugs in. It's a, a dovetail mount, so you can pop it out and move it over there if you wanted to. Personal preference, I like it over here. Because we can cut stuff that's longer than four feet on here, and the doorway is not 48 inches, this thing pops out. So if you saw that video and you saw that piano hinge on the side and you're confused about what that's all about, this guy opens right up and now you've got access to the end, which is kind of nice. This, if you guys do any kind of small electronics, stuff like this, you should always get these project boxes. They're only like six bucks and they make everything really tidy. So you've got small project box. These are called wired glands get a couple of those so your wires go through. It makes everything really nice. This guy I put in after the fact, this is just a drawer or a door to get, you know, you have to clean under here. So what I do is I pop that open, I put a little jack under there, jack the CNC machine up, and then I've got access to the bottom for maintenance and just general cleaning. So that's kind of nice. That was a after the fact little add on. There's some magnets, so this stays closed. And it actually keeps out a lot of the noise. That magnet is just, oh, I don't know what's going on there. I mean, this little dinkus, I've got all my dust collection hooked up to here. And actually you can come around and see that. 
So as you know, everything is wired in or piped in four inch, four down to two and a half, two and a half down to I think just two or one and a one and three quarter or something like that. All your blast gates are back here. So this one goes into the enclosure, hooks up to the CNC machine, so no dust there. This guy is just kind of the uh, floor sweep, I guess you'd call it. Got all that back here. You can see my little, this is obviously a prototype, <laughs> wing nuts, cable straps. So that is gonna be the lift mechanism for the top eventually. I just am a busy guy and haven't gotten to it. <sighs> Lastly, over here, I wired in, you saw the furnace fan, I've wired that in over here, so with a flick of a switch, that pops on. Somebody needs to grease that. <laughs> I have another switch in there for the air compressor, you'll see that in a second. I haven't wired that in yet, but that second uh, hard switch there is gonna be for the air compressor, which is down here. So every, everything's got a place, air compressor lives in there, keeps everything really quiet. Random, more random drawers on the other side. Stamps, I don't think there's anything in here. More storage. And then this is, I guess you can call it the electronics cabinet. Oh, and there's a, that's where that went. <laughs> there's a router in here. Uh, besides this router, we've got our, it's a little dark, I'm sorry. Uh, there's your 12 volt inverter. Another power strip, this hard, Hard line right here is from the air compressor, um, and then you've got everything else. I think this guy is the lights, and then this is the air filter, and then the power strip. And then eventually I will, this is the lift mechanism again. Again, it's prototyped. Just a 12 volt battery, which I've plugged in with a couple of fasteners there, but eventually that'll be hardwired in as soon as I get it work. I think that concludes our tour. If you have any questions about this thing, throw them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. No, it's not for sale. It took me forever to make. If you haven't checked out the first part, check them out. Check out the blog. There'll be a link to that in the description. There will be a link to all the stuff that I use, like that inverter. You know, the furnace fan is not gonna be in there. You just go to your local scrapyard and get one of those. But anyway, like, subscribe, stay tuned. Lots of content coming out. Uh, trust your guy? <laughs> I don't know. See you later.